Hi, welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today we're going to be doing a pretty quick topic. We are going to have a look at the brand new ATI Radeon HD 5970. So the 5970, I'm going to cut right to the chase here. This is the fastest graphics card on the planet right now. We're going to tell you what's so special about it and have a closer look at this video card. So let's start by having a quick look at the card physically. First of all, you're going to see that at the bottom, we have a PCI Express 2.0 16X slot. And then up at the top, you've got your ATI Radeon branding, your Crossfire bridge, and then two power plug ports. So that's a 6-pin and an 8-pin. Now, according to the PCI Express 1.0 spec, this card can only draw 300 watts in total power. So that's why the Radeon 5970, rather than being a 5870X2, is kind of like a hybrid between a 5870 and a 5850X2. It's because if they clocked it at the same speed as a 5870, they'd actually go over the power envelope that is designed to be delivered to the card. Now that's not to say that ATI isn't encouraging users to overclock this card to 5870 settings. They are. In fact, the latest Catalyst Control Center allows you to overvolt the GPU a little bit and to turn it right up to that setting. Now, last but not least, we've got the ATI iFinity technology on the back here. So you can see we have two DVI ports and a little port that you might not recognize. That's a mini display port. And the cards that I've seen so far do come with an adapter for mini display port to regular display port. So along the lines of what I was saying before, I wanted to talk a little bit about the features this card brings to the table. First of all, as I just mentioned, you've got support for iFinity. So ATI has updated their drivers to support iFinity in crossfire mode because this is a dual GPU card. You can see clearly on the back, we have backplates for two video processing units. So that means that iFinity has to output to three displays from two different video processors. It's a very complicated driver and what it means is that the only games that are supported are the ones that ATI specifically unlocks to work in iFinity mode with this card. It's kind of a kludge right now, but I think that support will improve over time and already the list of games supported is quite good. So all that's left to talk about is the conclusion. Basically, the features of this card are as complete as you're going to find out of any card on the market. You've got support for iFinity, you've got support for DirectX 11, so that means that this card is for Extreme Gaming in DirectX 11, so that means Windows Vista, Windows 7 are the only operating systems where you're going to be able to take full advantage of it. It is also the fastest card on the market by a significant margin. It's leaps and bounds ahead of everything else out there, even the ATI's own 5870, which was only released a couple months back. Now, another thing that I should mention about it before we wrap up here is the size of this card. I want you to look at it in comparison to the 3870, which was not that long ago a fairly high end card. It just dwarfs it. I mean, this thing is a monster compared to this old card. It's actually going to hang over the edge of your motherboard by about this much. So it's almost 12 inches long. You want to make sure that you have a case that has a lot of space for a long expansion card if you're going to buy one of these. Thank you for checking out NCIX Tech Tips on the ATI Radeon 5970. They're going to be working really hard to improve compatibility for iFinity over time, but right now it means that the game support isn't as much as we'd like. That said, one of the games that is supported is Grid, which uh, the cameraman was kind enough to include a fail screenshot of for our background today. He wanted me to stand in front of it so you wouldn't notice, but now you did. 